Hey guys, this is Kurob speaking and today we are back in the Cyclist Tactics with our first look at career mode in its current alpha state. And uh, so far things have been going really well for our little team, uh, which is of course the Windbreaker Racing Team. And let's load that in and continue where we left off, which is right before the Weisshorn Challenge which also is one of the races available in the demo. And if you want to play the demo, head down to the link below in the description and just download it for free from Steam. In the last episode, we also did get a much needed level up with our so far absolute bonkers hero of the team, who is Arsen Azatov. And he is just crushing it with his little fitness peak that he had. Um, he has been doing so well, so well. Uh, Willy Windbreaker, not so much. Uh, he is still needs to level up a bit before he's a force to reckon with. But maybe, maybe he can make something happen here in the Weisshorn Challenge. Although, well, there's there's plenty of downhill in here. But uh, overall, well, 270 is not too long. So maybe he has a chance. He doesn't have the greatest stats, that's for sure. But there are not many riders in there. So, Matteo has been failing all round so far, he's just been nuked. Well, he has also been used and misused by the team as a little bit of a punching bag um, to just rein in escapees and stuff. But yeah, Arsen might even have a chance here, despite his flat uh, specialization in sprint, as he might just be able to overpower things in for the other riders. He's so powerful. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. He doesn't have any any negatives, so he might as well. Um, so he, they are definitely going to team up on this one. Let's uh, start up the race, because we've already done the scouting. Even though it shows red here level up, this is just not being hooked in just yet. Uh, into, the, into the checks for if you're allowed to start the race or not. So it doesn't care. Um, Alright, should we start it? I think so. Let's get in there. This is the Sky Race. Yeah, that is uh, quite a bit harder than the Vison Challenge. Like, the Vison Challenge kind of finishes there in comparison to the 430. So, yeah, this is much more of a pro race. Oh, there are some guys in here who must have serious fitness peaks. If Hilly 8, if these two guys are on top compared to Mountain 11, and Mountain to Hilly Mountain 12, but they are, they probably had their fitness peak, these guys, Hilly Mountain 12 and uh, Mountain 11, probably had their fitness, fitness peak for the last month where there was the Girofrenia. So that would make sense. So now they are in a trough and really have to pay hard for it. Okay, let's simulate the Sky Race and yeah. Fla what? Okay, uh, that was an unexpected result. Oh, no, that was the breakaway winning. That it looks very much like the breakaway winning. Flat Hilly 8. Somehow they got through. <laughs> Interesting. One of the flattest races in the calendar is won by flat 10s and 11s. And yeah, that, that, that very much looks like expected. Uh, Vitesse Spring Open. And then... that's Was that one we were... We had the option to join? I believe so, right? And then we chose the Vice Horn challenge instead because as you can see holy oh, fucking hell where does what well uh, the the fuck the Hunter health foundation yeah i now know why you are doing pretty well overall in the standings they are coming with four riders and they come with a with their hilly eight rider he is like double the level that we are <laughs> how are we supposed to beat this guy uh, probably not. We are not supposed to beat this guy. But are there some weaker riders in here? You know, the flat four rider, maybe? I don't know. He might suffer. Uh, that's the thing, though. The lower level riders don't get the penalties in the mountains yet. It's only the more specialized riders that do get the penalties. So this will be interesting. We are considered uh, seventh strongest in this. Let's hope we score a bit better than that. That would be would be nice, wouldn't it? So let's start the race. And there we are. All right. Um, everyone is gathered here. That's a very modest group of riders to 
take care of. Vili is... Mm, yeah, he's going back together with... Uh, no, Matt is... Matteo is going to pull once again. And Arsen also is going back here. This is a very shallow climb. There might even be sections in there where we do get one or two slipstream. Uh, depending on how hard they are riding. I wonder how many are going out on the breakaway. This might be quite viable against such a small peloton. Hmm, another question is... What kind of pace do we benefit from the most? Huh. Should we go a little slower? Like this, how much slipstream does this generate? This generates two slipstream and we take minus three, so everyone will suffer through this. Uh, yeah, that is... Uh, that is not great, because we don't have any rider with plus mountain stat, but there are plenty of riders in the Peloton who do have that. So we are naturally going to suffer here. Okay. There's just... <laughs> someone has already dropped TT Mountain 3. Why did you drop, mate? Um, so Peloton is moving there. Flat 4 is on the attack. Alright. Um, let's follow with everyone. It's looking good so far. Why does Matteo have to pull again? Didn't he relay to the back? Did everyone else just quit their jobs? What? What fucking hell? Look at look at these stats. How are we supposed to beat that? Uh, plus one mountain, plus one downhill, plus one technical. Uh, yeah, hilly mount five. He is a he is going to be a handful to deal with. So okay, Matteo is just setting a decent pace here. Uh, pace nine. Uh, pace eleven. Pace what? Pace 10, yes, okay, that's that's better. Um, so, yeah, let's just move there. I think everyone will agree to follow. Yes, they do. All right, almost at the peak of the first, uh, first climb. And the escape is already over here. How are they doing? Uh, 43, 41 energy. This guy, TT Mountain 2, is quite powerful. Let's see if they recover anything in the downhill. That's uh, where the Peloton has the advantage. Uh, let's... Um, well, they are two turns ahead? Yeah, about two turns ahead. Well, that's uh, a bit of a bummer because Matteo is just doing all the work here and no one helps him out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the escapees are riding away. It looks like a big gap at the moment. And it is, but it is uh, not an... Not an impossible one. They are quite worn down, but I think I'm going to move up um, Villivin Breaker, maybe? Because Arsene still has some some decent stats here. He might be able to take it. He is lacking in speed, of course, while Vili is still going pretty strong. Alright, now I'm going to make a... Oh, should, I, should I make that move? There's a technical section in here. It would be a perfect move to close down the gap to the escapees to one turn. If I do that one. Are they that dangerous? Uh, it's, yeah, it's still a ways to go. So, flat four isn't, isn't really my worry here. But he still has plenty of resources and speed. He can make some serious jumps. Hmm. So, I think Matteo is going to haul some ass here now. There is a negative one slipstream modifier. But this is a big move. That's a move of 23. Yeah, let's let's try it. So there, three energy and three energy. Okay, that, that's fair. That jumped over the technical section. And now we move right down to the bottom of the slope with Matteo. Costing zero to the others. Now the escapees have split up. So flat four is no more. He is uh, trying to conserve some energy here, or maybe he just wanted to uh, slap him around a bit. And I think the Peloton now is on his, <laughs> well, Matteo is on his final, final lead out here up the hill uh, before he collapses right dead. Hmm. If we go, do, is there anything to consider here? Not really. So if we just land somewhere in here, we should be fine. Yeah, he could make that move, yes. Um, probably want him to, to be able to, but he's not relevant anymore. So let's move there. 
Six energy for Willy. And four for Arsene, who's back in P3 still. So Matteo has done his work for today. Willy is coming and pulling the Pelantor. I think we're probably just giving the others a free ride here, which we obviously are doing. But uh, I still have hopes for Arsene to be able to follow some of the, the moves the big ones are doing. Especially over here in the flat. I mean, they are back together, but they're not moving that strongly at the moment. How many turns is this if we go here and just check it out with Willy? So we do have from there like one turn, two turns. Okay, this is just two turns. So unless unless they, they, they would have one turn advantage getting to here. And they are going would have to spend uh, would have to spend about six energy, as we see. So that would be flat four, yeah, okay. No attack there. That would put him on notice. Yes, he would be running out. How many turns is this to jump up here? This is only six, eight, no, only eight movement. And that is about two turns if you can go all out to the top. So being one turn ahead is still plenty. Hmm. But I wouldn't know how to move any better than this. Because you can't make it in one turn, can we? No, nope, not a chance. So equally well, we can make it such that Arsene is benefiting a little. Then we hope that these two guys are fighting it out and collapsing. So uh, let's go to... Is there anyone to contest this? I don't think there is, right? Let's go back here. There's Matteo here and Mountain 7. He might go on an attack, but he's pretty slow. Yeah, he's not really a danger, I would think. So, uh, yeah, let's um, just move there, see what happens. Okay, everyone's following. So now we're moving pretty hard down there, and... Okay, Arsene is following at just one energy. He needs to start moving up to the front, though. I believe Windbrecher is still doing hard work. Oh, these two guys are not getting far. So, yeah, we are just powering through here. But now I expect some of the leaders to pop out. Where are they? Where is everyone? Oh! Oh shit, some of the mountain guys have been left behind. How did that happen? Okay, and here... Well, Matteo, we know about you. Yeah, there are still seven riders in total in here. And that includes the favorite. So maybe... If we move quickly, we can... We can get... Get them. If we now attack with Arson, because they are not in a good position yet, they haven't moved out of the out of P2 just yet. Maybe they do so now, but I don't see them yet. And these guys are not moving. So here's the Pelantor. Um, let's move short with Vili, so that the Pelantor is guaranteed to move short, because he's the only relay rider in here. And there is... Oh fuck, okay, Hilly 8 is here. He has arrived. Mountain 7 as well. These two guys are going to crush it now. Let's see if Arsene even can follow. I, I doubt it. Oh, Healy 8 has free... <sighs> Fuck me, okay. Three downhill and two technical. Yeah, he was just chilling back there on the down slopes. Oh, man. All right, and Mountain 7 is looking mighty strong too, even though he has weak overall speed. This is a two-turn move, though. So you need speed. This is not the most epic of climbs. Okay, so let's move the Peloton there so that we at least get the other riders out of the out of the mix. And then, or oh, we could move them even. Oh no, the Peloton target node is already there. All right, so let's move there. And there we have the attack. That's it. Hilly eight is going. Hilly eight is accelerating. Um, and Mountain 7 didn't follow. Mountain 7 stayed in here. It's Hilly 8, the bastard, who is going hard. And we are now on his wheel with our sprinter. <laughs> or our all-round sprinter. Let's, let's call him that. Uh, that is... That is quite... Yeah? So now the question is, can we actually follow him up the, up the slope? 
He only has plus one in mountain. Uh, can we make this in one turn? I think so. We have five free. It's to here. And then plus, uh, plus 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. And this will be a little tougher. But we should be able to get second. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. And the Peloton is still hanging out there. Uh, Willy, you just uh, say fuck it and uh, leave them hanging. Okay. He moved there. He moved it a little short. Is this giving the Peloton another chance? Uh-oh. Well, it's certainly a smart move. But do you know what? You know what he doesn't expect? A crazy arson Azatov to attack him in the mountain. Would would you <laughs> would you would you expect that? Because what I'm looking at is the the finishing ratio, and that would be pretty good here. Two nodes in front of him compared to here. That is a big difference. He would have to make up with a lot of nodes in front of me. So if we move here. And he needs like three nodes and finish three nodes in front of me in order to beat my time. So can he do that? If we land here, we can move the same distance. Yeah, it's right to the tree on the road, which is <laughs> not not great to have to see there. But um, hmm, <sighs> is that a wise move? I mean, it's a ballsy move. Would we would we be able... Let's calculate. Okay, let's calculate. I mean, we have all the data here. We should be able to figure this out, right? So he's going to make a move, which is... Let's assume all out. And that is a uh, 15 plus 1. So 16 extra movement. So that's a move of 20. That's a move of 20, and we can move a maximum of... Uh, oh, well, and there's a slipstream penalty of minus 4, which is how much you get at the speed of 20. So, no slipstream in this move. Huh. How, what is our maximum speed? Our maximum speed is a pathetic 12. 12 plus 4, so 16. We are 4 slower than him. But doesn't he need to be three faster than us? I think this will be like basically the same time. Let's go all out here and let's let's try. I think this might work out. It might not. Uh, where do we want to go with Billy? Maybe so that he just barely can finish on the next turn. If we go there. Yeah, something like this. Let's see who follows. If anyone. Oh, only... What? Only one follow... Mountain 7, you bastard. Fuck off, mate. Uh, we are now on your wheel. Yes, there we go. And let's see how that plays out. Arsen and... Yes, yes, 0 0.01 turns. <laughs> Did it again, Arsen. The... What a ball. Man. Holy shit, that was tight. That was the right move. So we attacked him and just... Barely, barely inched it out. Look how far, uh, how much further he moved. Yeah, yeah, four nodes further. But we were, due to the time ratio, taking um, into account how long on the turn it takes them to cross the line, we were able to just inch out a victory here. Oh man, the mountain sprinter. Okay, so now, um, well, that didn't turn out too well though. <laughs> Mountain 7 was like, uh, <laughs> Willy, you are a fucking downhill flat rider. Fuck off, mate. And just rode away from him. No chance to catch up. <laughs> no, nah, nah, not even close. But we're on, the, we're on the board. We are fourth. And there we have it. What a wonderful result. And this is a target race for the sponsor as well. So that was... Powerful. Oh, poor Matteo. <laughs> I think this is just starting to become a theme. Let's head over to the race summary and we do get... BAM! Yeah! First and fourth gives 200 prestige points and 80 
together, that is 280, times 1.0 because it's a sponsor focus. Uh, and that brings us from 100 pies to many more pies and into the green. And that means our sponsor is happy for the season and will allow us, if funding levels weren't uh, unlocked at the time so that testing is easier, um, they would allow us to update, upgrade like two levels at a max, recommended one level upgrade. And at minimum, you are allowed to stay where you are on Pathetic because the sponsor also increases their um, uh, their outlook. But yeah, this was this was good stuff. That what a ballsy move by a sprinter to attack the the hilly guy uh, <laughs> in the final climb. Kind of worked out nice. And yes, there you can see we are now in the green, beautiful. And what do we do now? That's the Southern Alps Tour coming up next. Oh fuck, okay. This is a mixed event, so we are going to so get our asses handed to us. Uh, how good are... Th oh shit. Dickies Raiders are in there. Uh, but they are flat, basically flat and hilly riders, so they're not that dangerous. Um, but Ahana Tourism. Ultra Boost Energy Drinks and Brain Band Analysis and Salam Bianco Insurances. All those teams are pretty big ones. We are now, by the way, in 24th overall. That is very strong going. Well, you know what? I think we are going to get absolutely crushed in this race. So I wonder what we could do. Oh, there's some juicy climbs in this one. That would be a lot of points, but there's so many mountain points to grab throughout this tour. I don't think we can sustain that. What is our fitness doing? Uh, well, Willy is on a fitness peak. On a minor one. Arsen, unfortunately not. And Matteo. <laughs> Does that matter? <laughs> no, he's forever lost. How is our team doing now? Oh, Willy is so close to a level up. Oh, 91%. Maybe the participation bonus uh, for the next one, because it's a higher level race, will give him enough to actually break the le to level four. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, just look at the stage. I I don't see how we're even surviving this. Like, look at that, 405 in length with these climbs in there. Like, each one of them is harder than each one of these two is harder than uh, what we had in the Vison challenge basically uh is it yeah this is stretch so kind of kind of the same these are a little steeper too um yeah yeah this is brutal i thought we would have a level up until now but unfortunately not hmm what could a target be for this what could we try and make happen oh i don't know Maybe Willy Windbreaker needs to try and grab the mountain jersey or something. But usually, there are so many good guys going out at the front that a rider like him with just five attack just doesn't have the speed to follow. We do need to do a scouting first. How about we do a scout of a mountain rider from Hedvesia? Yeah? How topical. What is it with our scouts this time around? Oh shit, this, it's not supposed to be like this all the time. <laughs> we have had such bad luck with uh, the scoutings. Hmm. Is there anyone useful in here? Like, just look at this guy. Raphael Pfeiffer. He's not done intervals in his career ever. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to ride harder than his FTP. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, well... That, that is not great. Level 2 rider. No, these are all, all crap. Uh, most interesting is still this novice, Friedrich Schulz. 1 out of 5. Uh, we have another 1 out of 5 rider here, but he's useless. He has at least a balanced set of stats. Once he levels up, he would be a 71 7, 15 6, 2. That's very balanced. So, yeah, let's put him on the list. Huh. All right. But I think we are stopping here for now because this is going to be a, a big task ahead. I think we are going to get bopped like crazy. This is this one is going to show the difference 
between proper teams and the ones we have been racing so far and have turned out a little lucky here and there. Um, because there's some serious firepower in this. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed. You smashed that like button. And I see you guys next time. <laughs>